So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Game. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Time Again. Um, so we're back with the uh, Comic Book Collecting 101. Uh, today's episode is why not to use eBay. Yes. Um, eBay, and I'll use this example, um, I could put a pencil on eBay and put a $100 price tag on it. Is it worth $100? Hell no, it's a yellow number two pencil. But that's what I'm asking for. And people will buy it. Some idiot will probably buy it. Unless we think some special issue. So, and you put anything in the description like this pencil was used by Stan Lee to draw the X Men, and with yeah, people don't even look so, ask for a COA or anything like that. So what we do here is, if I have to use eBay, like if I can't use, well, I use uh, ComicsPriceGuide.com. If I can't find the price on there or even the comic on there, I'll go to eBay. I'll scroll into the options to where. It says completed transaction. Um, and then I'll look to see what it sold for. Um, bad thing is a lot of people, and Billy can put that up, they'll use stock footage as opposed to their actual book that they have. So you don't really get an accurate description of the condition of the book. Like this is not in the greatest condition whatsoever. Um, but it is still worth $20. Now you can go online and probably find the same book for multiples of money. Uh, there's one on here for sixty-five dollars. However, what condition is it in? They're saying a six, and uh, yeah, uh, so they're using a stock photo, so a six could be. Well, look it up, comicspriceguide.com. And so this one, not in the best condition, still really old, still, you know, pretty looked after, and it's, it's twenty dollars. But with a stock photo, you can't actually see. Now, you will get occasionally people on there who post their books. Uh, the ones you might be able to trust would be, say, the um, graded ones with the yeah. hardcover. But you want to do your research. If you find a book on there for four, like any big book, for like 4.1. Well, we had $65 is what the guy online was charging for this at a six. And we looked it up for a six. And it is roughly between twenty dollars, yes. which is what I have. That's graded right and non-graded. It's the same so price. A non-graded book, then a non-graded six, is the exact same price as a graded book. So, um, eBay not necessarily the source you want to go to. No. You always want to go to your local comic book store if you feel that they are ripping, maybe ripping you off. Um, I didn't ask, ask, no, at, at first, ask them why is it you know like that? Can you show me you know? And the main response is probably going to be because well they do need to make money. Yeah. They need to try staying open, within reason. Um, it's like taking like this book three dollars and putting an extra zero on it is insane. That's yeah. Nobody's going to buy that. That's not going to keep you in business. No. Um, but if you wanted to take the three dollars and raise it to say. Somewhere between five and eight, that would also be reasonable. Mm, um, depending on the condition. Depending on the condition. If you could think you can do that, that, that'd be fine. That'll keep your store going. But if you're just collecting three dollars for that book, just fine. Yeah. That's um, I think it's actually a dollar in reality. But again, yeah, do have to make a little bit of a profit on these. So um, I bring that up because yeah, you go on eBay and these people are jacking up the prices because they get shipping and all that. There's a difference between jacking up the prices from $3 to $20, 25 $80, then a dollar to $3. Yeah. Um, my suggestion, again, you know, go check out the comic book store. If you're not happy with their prices, uh, there are various uh, comic book websites, uh, Graham Cracker Comics, Midtown Comics. Um, you can try Mile High Comics, but they're kind of the example of the comic book store that overprices their comics. 
Jacks. Oh, no, that's not overpriced. That's just straight up ridiculous. Yeah. Um, well, they're the largest comic book. Hmm? They're the co- largest they're comic also, book dealer in the world. So. Yeah. They're the uh, also the largest um, store. Yeah. I forget where they're located, but uh, I can't remember. But yeah, I wouldn't mind visiting there though. I wanted to because it's a massive amount of books and well, toys, listen. and I'm sure the prices wouldn't be as much there no. as they are online because again, shipping. I, I want to go to Capitol up in Chicago again. Yeah. That would be awesome. I, 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 I miss that. Never store. been to Capitol. It's so cool. Um, it's like we have a Rinky Ding store here, and they could take this right here that we have, this small is, amount, yeah. and turn it over like that. No of course, problem. that's the city. Um, they can so probably, they can sell all this in there one. Are, there are certain sites you can trust. Like I said, um, I've never had issues with uh, Graham Cracker in Midtown. Um, BBS. DCBS. Uh, stop giving away secrets. Um, it's not a secret. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. That's my secret. What? Sorry. That's a short. Uh, <laughs> uh, but e- it's sites like eBay, auction sites, um, you really do take your chance. Uh, my comic book store, I thought my comic book shop is actually pretty decent. Um, so there you go. I mean, uh, just be just be weary, be careful. Uh, always, I mean, if you if you if you feel you have to have that one book that's right there on eBay because it's a you know. It seems like it's a decent price. Check out the seller yeah. and his, you know, his, his rating, his, his rating, his profile. Okay. Um, just because they have a hundred percent feedback, a positive feedback, look and see how many people have actually bought from him. Because if it's one person, yeah, it's probably his mom. Um, and if and if it, and I can't stress enough, if there is a negative, read the negative. Yeah, because some people um, are spiteful. So. But there you go. I mean, uh, not really much to it. Just kind of use some common sense. Um, My superpower. Don't stick your finger in light sockets. You did that the other day. It was fun though. See? I like that tingly feeling. Anywho, <laughs> so stay tuned for more Come Again. We got some awesome reviews coming up with uh, toys and books. <laughs> If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.